Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You're looking kind of cute. Are you by any chance into feet? Well, how about my feet? Perfect. Welcome to Pokemon Facts, Easter Eggs, and Trivia. I'm your host, Alex Agloza, and today I'm going to try to teach you something about the Pokemon series that you didn't already know. So sit down, buckle up, and let's do this. This episode of Pokemon Feet is brought to you by Loot Anime, the monthly subscription service for sweet anime gear. Oh shit, bringing Pokemon to the real world. According to Actual Biology, one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion is that sea lions have ears and seals do not. But seal, referred to as the sea lion Pokemon in the Pokedex, has no ears, whereas Sphiel, a Pokemon whose name is legitimately a combination of the words sphere and seal, does. Fun fact, Sphiel's evolution line, along with Dugong, are the only Pokemon in the games to have a natural Octo-Resistance. That is, a resistance to a certain type of move by 8. Isn't that a cool word? Octo-Resistance? I'm not sure if you've realized this, but in its red, blue, and yellow back sprites, the ridges on Machoke's head follow down a majority of its back. What's funny is that they appear to get shorter and shorter as the games progressed. Also, in the official Pokemon handbook, Machoke is described as being extremely narcissistic. Quote, Machoke likes its own body way too much. Sometimes it's too busy looking at itself in the mirror to train. Which is exactly the opposite of the description given in Pokemon Stadium, which reads, Although it is incredibly strong, it is always modest. While still kind of on the topic of back sprites, did you notice that Gengar didn't have any spikes on its back until Generation 2? This is clearly a profile view, which is weird because the front sprite makes it look like there's something going on back there. Are these them? Either way, the back sprite didn't show spikes until Gold and Silver. A common mistake hardcore Pokemon fans make is thinking that this was an early depiction of the original potion, which can be seen in both the manga and the red and blue game manual. This is made more hilarious by the fact that the German word for potion is Trank. You know, as in the short form of the word tranquilizer. Maybe instead of healing your Pokemon, the German one just... Uh... But in fact, that picture of a syringe is actually an early depiction of the antidote. It's still equally terrifying though. However, now that we're here, I might as well give you a potion fact too. In the first and second generations, Max Potion and Full Restore were programmed to only heal 999 HP rather than restoring the HP of a Pokemon to full. This was because a Pokemon with more than 999 HP was not legitimately possible in these games. The highest HP a Pokemon could technically have in Generation 1 was 703 with a level 100 Chansey, or 713 with a level 100 Blissey in Generation 2. Slug facts, let's go! According to an interview in Nintendo Power, Shellos and Gastrodon were originally intended for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire instead of Diamond and Pearl when we actually received them. They weren't included due to time constraints, partially because the developers couldn't get the game to read the two forms of Shellos as a single Pokemon. Also, both Shellos and Gastrodon have early back sprites that can be found in the game data for Diamond and Pearl, yet there are no front sprites for either of these forms. And finally, in Diamond and Pearl, no in-game trainer uses EC Shellos in battle, even if the trainer's current location is east of Mount Coronet. This was changed in Platinum, in which all of these trainers east of Mount Coronet may have had the Eastern variety instead. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Pokemon Feet. If you liked it, feel free to let me know with a like or a comment. Both of those are pretty freaking amazing. And if you think you could put up with me again, maybe even hit that subscribe button. I don't know, optional, but it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope to see you next time on another episode of Pokemon Feet. Who's that Pokemon? Foot. Whismur.
foot. And guys, before I go, I'd like to give one last shout out to Loot Anime for sponsoring this video. This month, Loot Anime wants to equip you with the best gear in town. Whether you're facing off against your mortal enemy or taking down an entire student council, this crate will help you stay fit, focused, and fierce. Loot Anime is ready to equip you with exclusive items from Kill a Kill, Dragon Ball Z, and Akame Ga Kill, and Episode 3's crate is armed with an exclusive shirt and three additional exclusive equipped collectibles. Click the link below to sign up using promo code ALEX and receive 10% off today. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Pokemon Feet. I hope to see you guys next week, and I hope you guys all have a great day.